It's that time of the year again, it's that time again, Stats SA is conducting a census. The 2022 edition will take place from February the 3rd until March. This year will be the first time a digital count is used. Respondents will be able to fill out online questionnaires. To tell us more, I'm joined now by Statistician General Risenga Maluleke, who joins me now for that conversation. Uh, Statistician General, I've got to thank you for your time. I see that you're wearing green, you're not wearing yellow. Uh, like your predecessor, but nevertheless, <laughs> let's put that aside for a moment. Tell me how exactly Census 2022 will work and how it differs from the other censuses that we've conducted previously. Greetings indeed to Lassizu and to the viewers. Let me mention that uh, uh, every country moves forward with technology from time to time, from the times of Census 1996 when we used to uh, capture every information on paper and then from there look at the paper, capture it on the screen using keystrokes on our keyboards uh, to scanning technology that we used in 20, uh, 2001 and 2011. As of now, we have moved forward, but uh, one of the things that propelled us even further is COVID-19. In the COVID-19 environment, we want to minimize as much contact with members of the public where possible. And in this regard, we have uh, put in place two other methods other than direct collections where members, uh, uh, our field workers will go with uh, uh, smart gadgets and capture information from household to household. Uh, two other methods in addition to that are the telephone assisted personal interviews as well as web-assisted personal interviews where people can uh, capture their own information on the web. And indeed, uh, on the telephone, uh, people can uh, be assisted by our, our, our field workers who will be calling them on the line. Now, uh, for registration, both uh, for the telephone-assisted as well as the web-assisted, it will come for free. The bill will be built back to States SA. We have worked with... Uh, uh, telcos in such a way that uh, the billing will go back to state SA. Uh, why do we call it a digital census? Is because we are no longer using paper. We are capturing straight from the digital gadgets or from where people will be seated at home at their own convenience as they capture this information goes to, into our central database, which will make it a lot more easier to have the results. We are planning to have the results uh, within 12 months, uh -huh. as we will remember that in previous censuses, 1996 and 2001 to be exact, it took us two years to have results. In 2011, it took us 12 months. And we are saying that uh, with uh, regards to the technology and uh, that we are putting in place and the systems that we are using, uh, uh, it should take us 12 months to come back with uh, uh, the results. We will mm -hmm. have a lot of a battery of tests on the data to uh, work on once we have received the data to make sure that it's accurate. In fact, that last point takes me to my next question, Statistician General. In an ordinary census and all the censuses that you've uh, made reference to, it was impossible to count each and every individual who is present in the country. You then had to apply certain, you know, statistical, statistical uh, methodologies for you to then be able to get a sense, in addition to the field work uh, that you were doing, the enumeration that you were doing. Uh, are you not worried about the degree of accuracy of the data being affected by possibly, and this is just me thinking about it as a layperson, possibly a lower level of participation by South Africans. The two of the methods you mentioned there, um, you know, depend on South Africans uh, being diligent with the, this kind of thing. Me being willing to receive a call from, you know, someone who works for Stats SA and sitting with them on the phone for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, and the other, me logging in online and actually enumerating myself. I, I suggest to you that the enthusiasm for that may not be what you want it to be, with the result that it may affect the accuracy of the data you gather. Firstly, is that uh, uh, we have no option as, uh, as South Africa and the world as a whole. Uh, because of the COVID in, uh, environment, uh, there is no way you can have 
all the 165,000 field workers going out there into uh, the public space and reaching every household because then that will flare up uh, issues of infections and we want to minimize that. The second issue is that South Africans and everyone within the borders of South Africa, and, and I want to emphasize this point uh, to last is, uh, in such a way that uh, the responsibility of a statistician in any country is to count everyone within the borders of their country. And in this regard, everyone within the borders of South Africa. We all need this information. The public needs this information to hold those that they uh, uh, elect into office accountable for decision-making on business initiatives and all other socio-economic decisions uh, on their daily lives. So we all need this information. The responsibility for states SA is to collect and collate such information. Indeed, yes, there are challenges. We have seen uh, with challenges in the recent local government elections lower uh, turnout, and we want to encourage South Africans and everyone who finds themselves within the borders of South Africa to avail themselves to be counted. It's critical that we count everyone because people want services. We want to know where the services are housing. We want to know where water uh, is, how far are they from water connections in their yard, uh, outside their yard. We need to know planning for future uh, 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 populations, as you will have seen at the beginning of this year, that uh, the whole issue of getting children admitted at school has become a challenge. We need, all yeah. of us need this information. How will it work? Um, and I imagine the, the, the answer uh, is, is that you will have field work. But tell me how it will work in areas where people don't have the possibility uh, of, you know, logging in and being online and, and self-enumerating uh, in rural and far-flung areas. I imagine that you'll be sticking to your tried and tested methods, but enhanced safety uh, precautions there. Uh, the one thing is that... Uh, uh, with our field workers, we already have a workload where people have registered to be enumerated through the telephone or uh, web assisted. Uh, we will be able to uh, get such information from the people or from the call center or from our field workers who will be calling them. Where people haven't registered, and I want to stress this, that when people haven't been registered, they should not think they will not be counted. Field workers will have to reach out to them in person. And your remote areas where there's no connection or where people are struggling, we also have a gogo -go who is out there. We have child-headed households who may not be able to register or may not know. But even people who are able to uh, read and write who may not be able to register, we have to reach out uh, to them in person. As regards uh, uh, having a, a, a better count uh, further, is that always every country uh, uh, conducting a census cannot reach out to everyone. In our case, we have a post enumeration survey which will follow the census, which will help us to know how many people we have missed so that we can be able to make adjustments for purposes of have, having a better uh, uh, an, an accurate uh, uh, position on how many people we have in the country. It's a case that most countries follow in the post enumeration survey like ourselves. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I've got to thank you for your time, Statistician General. Just very quickly, how do people register? I keep hearing you talking about registering to, uh, for the option to be uh, enumerated uh, by, via telephone or for them to do it for themselves online. H how, do, how, how do we go about taking that option? We are busy sending text messages to members of the public and indeed, we are respecting all issues of the popia here. I need to stress this again. Uh, the information regulator has uh, 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 agreed with us that we are complying with uh, the uh, processing of personal information. We are sending messages to members of the public with a link. They can also go to States SA on the website www.statesa.gov. ZA, or simply on Google, just type States SA. It will link uh, them to our website. And indeed, some of them uh, may reach out to our... Uh, uh, we are having billboards with numbers, toll-free numbers, where people can always right. reach us.
Statistician General Rusanga Malulek, I've got to thank you for your time. It's important work that he has to do there, and I would encourage you to actually get involved and get yourself counted. Take those options that he is talking about uh, to be able to register, to be counted either through a, a Stats SA employee calling you on the phone or you do it yourself online. Really critical work in as far as planning is concerned in this country.